Today I'm going to teach you how to clean a throttle body, a 2007 Chevrolet pickup truck, Suburban, Tahoe. In this case, it's going to be a Tahoe, but they're all the same thing. 4.8, 5.3s, 6.2s, 5.7s, all use the same fashion, more or less. So we're going to start off with this cover. It just pops right off, slide out. Okay, we'll put that to the side here. And then, very simple. You have a little hose right here that all you really need to do is pop out. Pops off very simple. Just make sure that the, steel, the blue seal is in place. There's an eight millimeter clamp right here. And then eight millimeter right there. I have my handy dandy drill here. So I do that real quick. And I'm just gonna. You notice there's a little rivet here. It's supposed to be like a rubber grommet here, which all you're gonna do in that point is pop up. Okay, just like I did there. And then you're gonna pull back nice and slowly. Once that's out, you have this side, and then you have an attachment right here on this hose so you need to separate. I'm gonna do that real quick with some uh, needle nose pliers. We are. Snap on. Not that you need a snap on one to do this, but all right. Let's get in there. Just a little bit. Sometimes they break. I think I broke it. Oh no, look, it came up perfectly. All right. Cool. And let's pop this out. Just like that, and the whole thing should come out. And now we have our throttle body. You put your finger in there and see how dirty it is. It is dirty. Both sides. So, toothbrush and some throttle body cleaner. Here I come. Alright, so from this point, you're going to use a uh, dirty toothbrush. Um, an old one, maybe one of your old ones that you're about to throw away. Even if it has tooth decay on it, doesn't really matter. Uh, this guy over here doesn't care for tooth decay. Um, and any type of throttle body or air intake cleaner. Make sure you don't use brake cleaner or anything else. Make sure that it's a throttle body cleaner. And when you apply this, make sure you don't put too much because if you do, you could hydro lock the engine. So baby steps, moderate amounts, and a lot of scrub. Okay. So I'm just gonna raise here and spray a bit. Good. Raise here and then just dry my brush and scrub it dub dub. Make sure you get the blade as well and continue spraying. Good thing for this stuff is that it kind of evaporates as well. So, scrub. Let it evaporate, you know? Let's get all the crap out. Good thing to do is to get a towel and just uh, dry it out. Make sure you get all that dirt out. Now, don't expect this to come out, you know, chrome when you're done. But the idea is to get all the black, as much of the black soot as you can off of it. So. This is somewhat after the cleaning, and uh, you can see that it's in much better shape. It's not perfect. I'll probably give it another pass with the towel, and it's good to go. Reassemble the same way you took it apart. 
Okay, so now put everything back together and we're inside the car and we're ready to start. This is where most people start to freak out because their car doesn't just turn on right away. It's not going to. You just put a bunch of fluid in through the throttle body so it's not gonna start right away. So it will have an extended crank. What you wanna do is put your foot on the accelerator pedal and just try to get as much air into the engine as much possible. It's gonna take a little bit, but you keep starting and then you're gonna see a big poof of cloud of smoke just coming out the back of the tailpipe. Good, keep flushing it, keep accelerating moderately. Don't just step on it like if this is a race car, you know, moderate accelerations while getting the smoke out. Eventually you'll see that the idle will start to even out and it'll start to idle even smoother than it ever has before. So it just takes a little faith in what you're doing. If you do have problems, you do run the risk that you put too much fluid. If it all of a sudden locks up while you turning the car on, you just hear and it goes and it stops, then chances are you put way too much a cleaner inside the engine and now you probably locked up the engine. I mean, it, I've seen it happen plenty of times before. So you gotta be careful on how you use that spray. Moderately cleaning, okay? Um, I'm gonna show you how this one acts now. So here we go. See, it almost wants to shut off on me. I accelerate a few times. get too much smoke that's it nice and smooth idle 